This video is on adding and subtracting with mixed numbers. So if you remember, a mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. When you're adding or subtracting them, think of them as kind of a two-part problem. One part is a fraction problem, one part is just a regular whole number problem. So here I have 8 and 5 sevenths minus 4 and 3 sevenths. So think of splitting the problem down the middle and kind of thinking of it as two parts. First, let's tackle the fraction part. So I have 5 sevenths minus 3 sevenths. Here, I already have my common denominator, so I don't need to rewrite the fractions. I just do 5 sevenths minus 3 sevenths gives me 2 sevenths. That's kind of the sixth grade part of the problem. Now we kind of go back to the elementary school version of the problem. 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. So I put those two pieces together, and I get an answer of 4 and 2 sevenths. So you do the fraction part, you do the whole number part, put the two pieces back together again. So let's take a look at this one. 6 and 2 thirds minus 1 and 1 sixth. So again, kind of split the problem down the middle and think of it one piece at a time. So I'm going to do 2 thirds minus 1 sixth. Again, I need to rewrite my fraction so they have a common denominator. So I want to think about what can 3's and 6's be turned into? What could I find that a 3 can be made into, and a 6 can be made into. Well, hopefully the idea of using 6 as your common denominator came to mind. To get from my 3 to my 6, I had to multiply times 2. So remember to always do the same thing to your numerator. 2 times 2 is 4, so I get 4 sixths. Down in my bottom fraction, it already had a denominator of 6, so I didn't need to change anything. So I don't change anything with my numerator. Now I'm ready to go ahead and do my subtraction. 4 sixths minus 1 sixth is 3 sixths. Always check, can I simplify my fraction? So what you're thinking about is 3 and 6. Is there anything they can both be divided by? In this case, I can divide them both by 3. They have that as a common factor. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Remember, when we were changing our fractions to a new denominator, or when we were simplifying our fraction, remember the key is you have to treat the numerator and denominator equally. That way it stays an equivalent fraction. You haven't really changed the amount. You just kind of changed what you're calling it. Now I have one more piece to finish here. So my fraction part was 1 half, but I need to go ahead and do my whole number portion. 6 minus 1 is 5. So I get an answer of 5 and 1 half. Let's take a look at one more. So again, first we're going to kind of think of it as two parts. First, let's focus on the fraction. 2 thirds plus 7 tenths. So again, I need to find my common denominator. Here, I want to find something that 3's and 10's will work with. If you look at those two numbers, 3 and 10 don't have anything in common. They don't have any common factors. So our best bet for our common denominator is simply to multiply the two together. 3 times 10 is 30. So that's my common denominator. Now I need to go back and rewrite each of my fractions as an equivalent fraction. To get from 3 to 30, I multiply times 10. So I have to do the same thing to my numerator. 2 times 10 is 20. For my other fraction, to get from 10 to 30, I would have multiplied times 3. So I do the same thing with my numerator. 21 times, or 7 times 3 is 21. And now I'm going to go ahead and add them together. 20 thirtieths plus 21 thirtieths is 41 thirtieths. Now you'll notice 41 thirtieths is an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than my denominator. So I need to rewrite it as a mixed number. So I ask myself, how many times can 30 go into 41? Well, I can take out one group of 30. If I were to take 30 away from 41, I would be left with 11 left over. So my fraction portion became a 1 and 11 thirtieths. Now I go back to the whole number part of my problem. 10 plus 8 is 18, plus the 1 and 11 thirtieths I got for my fraction portion. So this time I had to do a little bit of renaming with my fraction, which means I'm going to have to do a little bit of addition here when I combine my two pieces together. 
18 plus 1 and 11 thirtieths is 19 and 11. Let me write that a little nicer for us. And 11 thirtieth is my final answer. But again, the key is do the fraction part, do the whole number part. Sometimes there's a little bit of renaming involved and then combine those two pieces together. All right, now it's your turn. I want you to pause the video and go ahead and solve these two problems on your sheet. When you get done, hit play, come back and see if you got the same answers I did. If you got something different, watch my work and see if you can figure out where you got off track. So go ahead and pause it now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these two problems. Nine and, my, and six sevenths minus two and five fourteenths. So first I need to find my common denominator. I'm gonna use 14 as my common denominator. To get from seven to 14, I multiply times two. So I do the same thing here and get 12 24ths or 14ths. My other fraction was already with the common denominator 14, so I don't need to change anything. 12 14ths minus five 14ths is seven 14ths. 7 14 can be simplified. 7 and 14 both have something in common. They can both be divided by 7. And I get a fraction of 1 half. Now, don't forget, you have to go back and do the whole number portion of the problem as well. 9 minus 2 is 7. So when I put it all together, I get an answer of 7 and 1 half. For my other one, 3 and 5 sixths plus 10 and 5 eighths. I'm going to do this one quick. I use a common denominator of 24. You could use 48 if you wanted to. You're just going to have to do some simplifying. To get from 6 to 24, I multiply times 4. So I do the same thing up top and get 20. To get from 8 to 24, I multiply times 3. So I do the same thing up top and get 15. Add them together and I get 35 24 ths. Improper fraction. 24 goes into 35 one time with, oh, with 11 24ths left over. Then I go back and take care of my whole number part. 3 plus 10 is 13 plus 1 and 11 24ths gives me 14 and 11 24ths. So compare your answer. See how you did on both of those. If you feel comfortable with those, go ahead and try the last four at the bottom of the page.